So in a previous video I showed you how I sharpen the tip of my soldering iron. When I heated it up, the tip oxidized. So when I tried to apply solder, the solder would not stick to the tip. So I'm going to refile this down. And what I'm going to do is wrap it in solder before I heat it up. This way when it hits that critical temperature, the solder will melt onto the tip preserving the tip before it has a chance to oxidize. At least that's the plan. So let's see if that will work. So the oxidation came off pretty easily. So now I'm back down to bare copper. Now I'm going to take my solder and see if I can wrap this pretty easily and all I want to do is wrap it really tight in a coil that way when it does melt it melts evenly over the copper and it coats the tip as best as I can make it happen. I'm going to use my wire cutters to cut the solder. So that's covered pretty well. There's no air really getting, hopefully getting to the copper as it heats up. Now let's put it back in the soldering iron. That was pretty awesome. I watched it as the solder melted completely around it. And now it's completely tinned. That is pretty cool. Now I want to see if it'll tin copper by itself. So I'm going to seems to be taking the solder really well now. I'm going to unplug it. I retend it so there's plenty of solder on my tip. And then I can turn it off. And they say you need to retend that every time you use it. I hope you found this uh, helpful. If you have any questions or comments or have other better ways of retinning your soldering iron, please feel free to leave a comment and we will see you in the next episode.